guys welcome back i hope you all enjoyed your christmases and had a lovely time with friends and family now that we're going into 2024 i thought i would do a video on preparing for 2024 in terms of creating a vision board and how i'm basically going to prep for the new year so i didn't do this last year this is the first time i'm doing this and i think it's just going to really help for my own personal growth and I'm really excited actually to just sit down and take some time to do this. So I've already done my vision board and I've already implemented something that I wanted to do in 2024, which was read more, which you saw me doing this morning whilst eating my breakfast. So I absolutely love Canva. So Canva is totally free. That is a premium option, but you don't necessarily have to choose the premium products. So I've just used Canva to find a vision board, to find a yearly goal planner, and also a 2023 reflection. And it was all free and had everything that I needed on the page. So you don't necessarily need to buy yourself a journal or a book. Some people may prefer to write physically and find it more therapeutic. In that case, fair enough. But for me personally, I just prefer using my laptop. I like the fact that it's free and I don't have to pay for it. So I thought I'd just take you through my vision board that I've created. And then again, this was just a template from Canva that was free. And I basically just went through Pinterest and found all of the images that show kind of what I want from 2024. So from this vision board, I think we can say that like my main goals are basically to be more consistent in terms of working and also in the gym. I want to have more 5 a.m. wake up routines just purely because I feel so great when I wake up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym before work. And even though some days it's really tough, once I'm up and once I've been to the gym, my whole mindset is different for the whole day. And I just want that sort of positive energy for myself going on in the future. Another thing was that I wanted to read more. So as you've seen this morning, I've already sat down and read a bit of my book. The book that I'm currently reading is Mapping the Bones by Jane Yolen. This is a really, really lovely book. It's just so sad as well because it's about two young Jewish children who are basically in the middle of World War II. They live in Poland and they've been sent to a concentration camp. And at the same time, it's very heartwarming, but it is really sad. But it just makes you feel so much more grateful for the life you have. So that's one thing that I want to do is read more. And I think my aim is going to be to read for half an hour on days where I'm not working throughout the week. So I don't want to make this unrealistic. And I know that if I make it unrealistic, I just won't follow through with it. So I think half an hour on my days off throughout the week is a really good way to implement this good habit. There are also a couple other things. So obviously, as you guys know, this is my first year of starting a YouTube channel and an Instagram platform. I have absolutely loved every single second of both of those platforms. I just think in the beginning of 2023, I had so little confidence. I would have never have even thought to have created a YouTube channel, to have created an Instagram. And I feel like the purpose of me doing it is really, really strong and it's not that I expect, you know, loads of followers or loads of views. I don't expect anything. I just enjoy creating this content and I enjoy putting it out there and showing people what my life is like, basically. And I think this year it's it's gone really well. I'm really happy with what I've done. It's grown my confidence massively and I'm just so grateful that... People have actually liked and subscribed to my channel and also followed me on Instagram. Like all of that has just really affirmed to me that I'm doing something good. And I think previous Amy would have thought no one's ever going to watch a YouTube channel or look at your Instagram page. I think it's massively boosted my confidence and I'm just so happy because I get some really lovely comments from people that Kind of really show me why I'm doing it and yeah so obviously one of my goals is to keep doing this and just growing my channel basically and reaching out to even more people um, 
but yeah I'm just so grateful that I've had this opportunity this year to, to do this and I'm very determined and I want to continue so yeah that is my vision board for 2024 so now I'm just going to reflect on year 2023 and I'm just basically going to go through this template and just have a real think about what I've done this year and how how many accomplishments I've made so yeah so yearly reflection and I'm just going to put 2023 there and list of gratitude so I'm definitely grateful for my health after this year and the fact that I can still go to the gym and I can still do the exercises that I love and so health in the gym being able to attend the gym Okay, so that's number one. Number two, I'd say is that I'm grateful that I'm in the position now where I've got really nice work-life balance. As you guys may know, I am less than full-time and this just means that I feel like my work-life balance is really, really nice. I've got time to do this in my spare time and also go to the gym and just sort out my life and it's always just a little bit easier for me now. So. So work-life balance is definitely something I'm grateful for. And then another thing is obviously my friends and family. I have an amazing family and also on my boyfriend's side, he has an absolutely lovely family as well. And we're all very close-knit and I'm just very grateful to have those people in my life because I know that a lot of other people don't. So family and friends, I'm definitely grateful for. I say my, my job as a junior doctor because even though it can be really tough sometimes and just really hard I think I am grateful for it even despite those factors just to have the opportunity to do something that I love so my job as a junior doctor yeah I think that's that's mainly my list of gratitude to be honest um so how did I achieve my goals so definitely just through dedication I'm a really dedicated individual um yeah and then I would say support network around me has been massive this year because obviously I've gone through a really tough time in terms of being in constant pain and having to learn how to manage that my boyfriend's been absolutely amazing. My family's been amazing. Everyone's just been so supportive of getting me through that really tough time. And yeah, so I'd definitely say my support network has massively helped me this year. And um, that includes like the Evolve You community as well, because it is just such a massive community of, of girls that just want to be strong and you know they really do help and I do get some comments about um, kind of the Evolve You app and stuff on my Instagram so I could not have done this year without the Evolve You app 100% because they basically showed me all of the substitutions I could make and all of the alterations I could make to my workouts to avoid certain exercises I can't do with hip dysplasia. I think pushing, pushing past insecurities so, like I was saying to you guys, at the start of 2023, I would have been so insecure that I would have never started this YouTube channel or my Instagram page. So I think me pushing past those insecurities has massively helped me this year. And also when I'm filming in the gym now, I'm in my own bubble. Like, I used to get really worried about bringing my stand out, I used to get really nervous about doing it, but now, I just imagine I'm the only person in the room and I whip it out and I don't even think that there is other people there mm -hmm. and that really just helps so that's also another way that I've pushed past insecurities so reminders for next year definitely be kinder to myself I'm the type of person that gets really really frustrated with myself and especially when I'm in pain instead of stopping whatever I'm doing I'm so dedicated and determined that I want to finish it, even though it'll cause me more pain later on. So I definitely need to be kind to myself. I need to learn to listen to my body. So that's another one, listen to my body. It's not worth doing an extra exercise 
like if you're going to be in pain later on it's just not worth it because it's not really going to affect your progress much and that food isn't life because I'm I love my food I'm a big food girl I love to eat and I eat a lot if I can but sometimes that is not a good thing because I overeat and I get disappointed with myself so I think I just need to remember that food is not the most important thing in my life I need to find a nice balance essentially between food and enjoyment so those are my reminders top accomplishment is definitely presenting at a conference and also having my research published in a journal so presenting at a conference and publication I was so so proud of that another one is obviously graduating if you didn't know I graduated medical school this year and I'm now a junior doctor graduating um starting my content channels and what else consistency in the gym i've been more consistent in the gym than any other year before so consistency in the gym um what type of accomplishments again confidence in myself i'm very happy where i am at the moment in life i feel like i used to be quite needy but now i, I genuinely don't feel like that at all started a new career yeah so became became a junior doctor amazing so that is my yearly reflection and now I'm just going to sit here and go through 2024's goals. And I've got a couple of planners that I want to do for 2024. done 2024's prep so I thought I'd just quickly take you through that just to end the video um so I've obviously written basically what I've said about 2023 but what I want my life to look like in a year I want growth in my channels ideally I would like to be at 5,000 followers on insta and youtube I'd like to be over a thousand but you know the numbers don't really matter that much to me. They are just there to basically keep me dedicated and keep me consistent with YouTube. Because otherwise, sometimes if I don't put a number on it, I might not strive to my full potential. But if it doesn't happen, I also don't really mind that much. But those are like the kind of numbers I have in my head. Consistency in the gym four to five times a week. So some weeks four times is just the maximum I can do Other weeks I can do five times. So that's realistic for me Develop my relationship with food and dedicate myself to my bulk and cut. So I am doing a bulk For six months. So this will be going up until May. What I didn't realize is like the full extent of this bulk because I thought I was going to be able to eat a lot more good stuff than like high protein stuff but I realized I need to be hitting 160 grams of protein and the way that bodybuilders do it is they only have they only have like one gram of fat per body weight so my grams of fat are like 75 grams a day which I didn't realize was actually not a lot so I'm going to be try to be really really dedicated almost follow like a bodybuilder's bulk because that's kind of what I want to do I think I want to really treat it as a bodybuilding bulk and then a cut which is going to be tough it's going to need a lot of meal planning and preparation but I know I can do it so I've just got to stay consistent with it 
read more often, which I've spoke about, and meditate when needed. So I think if I start meditating every day, it becomes more like a chore and I don't want meditation to feel like that. So I think I'm just gonna meditate when I need. So what I need to do is basically figure out when I'm so stressed that I need to meditate. Be kinder to myself, which I've spoken about in terms of my hip pain. So what I need to do, so I consistently post and make videos for my YouTube and Instagram. That I've been really consistent this year, so I'm not really worried about not being consistent next year. Gym sessions four to five times a week. Meal prepping and planning. Staying consistent with the bulk or cut. Reading on every non-working day. Notice my pain and rest. More 5 a.m. mornings. See gym as a non-negotiable. More self-care evenings. Brainstorm YouTube such insight ideas and keep an eye on finances and then my motivation for that is obviously the vision board which I've already created prep video for 2025 so I'm going to repeat this video in 2025 and basically do the same thing and see if I've achieved 2024's goals weekly and monthly check-ins so depending on how busy I am and then some journaling and meditation so yeah so that is my prep for 2024 i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please like and subscribe down below to see more content and i'll see you later